Hey guys, I want to take this time out to welcome you to this new course, Ultimate ASP.NET 5 Web API Development Guide. Now, its title is a mouthful, but I can assure you the content surely lives up to the billing. In this course, you'll learn how to create a maintainable web API using ASP.NET 5, which is the latest and greatest in the Microsoft development stack entity framework and we will explore many enterprise level design patterns and considerations when it comes to designing an API. I am your instructor for this course. My name is Trevor Williams. I am a software engineer and part-time lecturer. Now let's explore what an API is. The letters A, P and I are short for Application Programming Interface. Pretty much an API is a software interface that acts as an intermediary between two applications. So let's say you can access Facebook-like functionalities from an app that is not a Facebook app. So this app has to talk to Facebook and allow you to do Facebook-like things. Well, that is communicating with Facebook through an API. So in this course, we will learn how to build that kind of interface to allow persons to access an underlying data store that we will be building using functionality that we will be building using clients that they will need to build, whether it's for a mobile or a web or any other type of device. So APIs, or at least the type of API that we will be building are based on the REST principle. So we will learn REST and REST is short for representational state transfer. It is a very popular web API standard and it is used across many platforms. So though we will be building the API using .NET Core, the API can be consumed by clients from many other development stacks. In addition to this, we'll be learning how to use .NET Core 5. We'll be looking at how to understand the services and how the whole application flow works. And we'll also be looking at using enterprise level patterns. So, you know, best practices that we can put into the code such that when we are ready to expand, whether through our own self-discovery or in an enterprise setting, we won't have to pull up too much of our application to do that, but we can just tack on components as we go along. So in a nutshell, you're going to learn ASP.NET 5 and Entity Framework Core. We're going to be using code first database development and exploring once again, clean coding patterns. We'll be looking at API authentication using JSON Web Tokens or JWT for short, how we can protect and harden our endpoints and protect them from unauthorized or unwanted access. We'll look at understanding the .NET Core service pipeline and how we can extend them and put in our own middleware. We'll be looking at API testing and logging. So we'll be using Postman and Serial Log for our API testing and logging purposes respectfully. And we'll also be looking at how Swagger can play a part in documenting our API and also helping with our testing. Source control, we will be using GitHub so that we can securely store our code and be able to roll back should we need to. And then we look at after building out all of these wonderful things, how exactly we allow our API to be accessed, whether in a company setting or by the world. Now, this course has quite a bit in it. It's about 10 hours long and you will be learning a lot of things. So buckle up, get ready for this journey and I'm very excited to have you along.